John Shagnon, PCS Outdoors. Uh, I'm here today with William Colby, uh, also a Northern Michigan resident and uh, one of our craftsmen here at PCS Outdoors. Um, we're going to show uh, two very uh, unique and beautiful traditional, well, traditional with a twist, what I have, and Willie has a fully traditional item. Uh, the first item is uh, made by Iverson Snowshoes and they've been around for years. They're up in Shingleton, uh, very close to Munising on Lake Superior and they make snowshoes that are world renowned, um, have there for years, um, visited many times. In fact, uh, can't wait to get up at Christmas time and visit again. It's always unique to see the, or nice to see the nice products they keep coming out with. Uh, what I have in my hands is a, a fishing net that they just came out of with that's made out of cedar and it's kind of unique. It comes with a nice pouch and uh, you basically uh, flip it as such and uh, it's a very nice little net. So that's the latest product that I have from uh, Iverson Snowshoes, other than uh, we got some custom snowshoes being made that we'll be having on the market in about uh, early 2011 that are going to have the bindings attached already to the snowshoes and um, they're going to be at a very affordable price. Um, but the same quality you always expected from Iverson Snowshoes and I'll let Willie uh, tell you some about this nice creel. We'll talk to a fly fishing creel, pretty standard uh, traditional northeastern um, fly creel except for the, in this case, the material is extremely ornamental. I've used um, black uh, ash cambrian for a rim, red osier center, um, all kinds of pine roots, cedar roots, um, traditional little eyes. Um, birch, the in, inside section of birch, complete with runners. Uh, the tops fl joined flame maple. I did myself, and of course standard hole. It's this is the full size version, um, ready for a mantle or a fish. Um, full, uh, full leather handles. I mean uh, straps. So it's a nice little item. And Willie, I like uh, the uh, $20 creels that you see that come from China uh, that you probably stand on and they fall apart. You could probably stand on this one, couldn't you? Yep. Yeah. But this one's pretty beautiful, so we're not going to take a chance. Could you, yeah, uh, we're be could you step on that uh, smaller one just to make sure before we try to step on that one sometime? I'll wait till I buy it from you before I step on it. Well, actually, I would step on it. I'm sure it will, but I don't want to scratch that lid. <laughs> Good point. But this is the strength of black ash. Pretty strong stuff, ain't it? Yep. And ultra rigid when woven right. It's, that's a craft that I've assumed. Well, thank you, Willie. And, sure. Uh, uh, check out PCS Outdoors, and uh, uh, you'll see a lot more of Willie's stuff in the future. And uh, uh, watch for our full page ads in uh, Fur Fish and Game and Trapper and Predator Collar. And, uh, We'll, we'll start listing some of Willie's stuff. Great. Uh, thank you.